We've got 31 flats and it's just ground floor and first floor flats. We have pet friendly. If someone has a pet, they are more than welcome to come along and live here. So far we haven't had any cats, everything has been dogs. We also get several visitors on site because we've got people who dog sit and dog walk for other people. Good We've got four dogs, um, two of them are called Lucy, one's Jack Russell, one's a rescued greyhound. Um, we've got Max who's a terrier and Sparky who's a long-haired chihuahua. Well he lived with me for ten years and then uh, I had a, an accident and had to go into hospital and um, Karen came to the rescue. Unfortunately she chose the week that I was away on holiday to actually have her fall. Um, so all the residents on site club together and they were walking Sparky, feeding him, looking after him until they could get in touch with me. And when I came out I, I was really dodgy, you know, on my legs <laughs> and I had to make a terrible decision that I don't think I could look after him. Sparky is still living with me because Jean hasn't felt able to take him back full time but we do a dog share so I bring Sparky in in the morning and he stays with Jean during the day. So she still has all the companionship, but without the worry of getting him out to walk and such like. Hello. So I think when we came first originally to look at the place, Karen showed us around so she knew her straight away. But every time we walk past to go out, she likes to say hello to her in the mornings. Uh, we have quite a few dog visitors in here. Um, it's lovely actually but it's just that companionship. Um, for Peter and Les, um, the dogs keep them mobile. Well, I've got to have exercise because I've got um, chronic kidney failure and I take him out three times a day, so you need the exercise and you've got a friend to go with, haven't you? Everything I do really revolves around her. Oh, gee, I haven't seen you for hours. But what she's done, without knowing it, is she's given me a new lease of life. Come on, Lucy. This way, sweetie. I didn't realise it, but Karen said, when you first came here, Peter, you wouldn't go out, you wouldn't talk to anybody, you wouldn't mix. And she said, since you've taken Lucy out, everybody you stop and make a fuss of her, you talk to, all the neighbours don't on her. They do. She's straight on her back for a belly rub. Um, and so consequently, I've been brought out myself. I chat to everybody. If there's a pet involved, it just seems to open doors that wouldn't normally be. People talk to each other that maybe normally wouldn't. And it is lovely. Wait, the spark is looking at you. 